Well, perfect playing conditions here in London at Wembley. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And what a last day scenario we have. Will they clinch the title here and now? It's England taking on Real Madrid. Well, they've achieved their main aim, and that was promotion. But can they go one better and win the title here? He's in behind. Oh, massive credit to the keeper. Well, he's so hard to beat in these situations. It's brilliant goalkeeping. Elects to go short. Alexander-Arnold. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Real using width to good effect. Oh, what a top-notch pass. Oh, wonder goal! Right out of the top drawer. Who can do better than that? And in the perfect position to read it. A well, credit to him for the challenge and a throw-in conceded. Vinicius. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Here's Luke Shaw. Oh, the threat is there. Is it going to be? Excellent save from Thibaut Courtois. Another short corner here. And the cross not quite accurate enough. This is a message for Mel Ali. Mel Ali, can you please meet Jennifer Bassett at the ticket office? And decent acreage for Real Madrid to run into. Valverde. And an astute piece of defending. Bellingham. Rodrigo. Really good build-up, but no end product. Attacking possibilities for Real. Declan Rice. Alexander-Arnold. Well, it's an attractive passing move, but it's all about finding an equaliser here. And a goal! Bingo! It could happen for them today! And what a crucial goal that could be in the title race. They need to keep pushing. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. The fans want to see a shot. Stopped a surefire goal. Short corner it is. Rice. Tomori. Oh, he's done it! And we might just have witnessed the goal that secures the title. Well, what a moment that could turn out to be. They've just got to defend well now. Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. So the action continues. Rather be a quick response from Real. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. And Bellingham. Opportunity here. And a goal! And it could be the one that puts a seal on the title. Well, that should be it, Derek. Surely they can't let it slip from here.
Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Foden. Well, no stopping him. And he's gone into an illegal position, unfortunately. Bellingham. England recovering possession well. Vinicius Jr. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Valverde. Could pull one back here. It's a perfect challenge. Carvajal. goalkeeping right out of the top drawer it's absolutely remarkable his reflexes were brilliant there pressure applied can they make something of it Declan Rice and Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity Walker. Just the challenge that was required. Really well positioned. Well, approaching half time on the home side, very much in charge here, Stuart. Your thoughts? Well, they've played some really good football up to now. In particular, the way they've got it into their front players has been excellent. I've also liked the movement of the strikers. They just now need to take this forward into the second half. Rodrigo. A chance to eat into their lead. And it's in! This game very much back on as a contest. Three, two it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Alexander Arnold. Phil Foden now. And pull back. Chance here. And a precise challenge just when it was required. And the referee's whistle. That will conclude the first half here at Wembley. Into the second half then, and Real doing the chasing. To be replaced by number nine, Harry Kane. Attacking possibilities for England. Cuts it back. Off the post and back in play. The pressure was high and they could be in here. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender is just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. Bellingham. Now Harry Kane. And he has options available. Foden. 
And really discomforted by the press. And you cannot argue with a hat-trick. Simply unstoppable today. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Declan Rice. Harry Kane. The ball with Luka Modric. What a magnificent pass. Oh, totally committed, but still dangerous. Now, who can he play it to? Bellingham. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Look at Modric. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Well, he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he just delayed the pass, didn't he? That was a great opportunity. 30 minutes to go then. That's a good ball. And he's made headway. And really tried to blast that one past the keeper, but his radar was a bit off. Walker. Declan Rice. He read the situation defensively and did his job. I think most defenders would expect to be booked halting an attack in that fashion. Rodrigo oh good looking run nicely blocked Bellingham and the counter attack is on options available well a disappointing end to that break Jude Bellingham Kane, really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Vinicius Junior, given away by Real Madrid. Well, no stopping him. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Now, the counter-attack looks on. Can they use their pace? Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Valverde. Oh, that's a really good run. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And beyond the last defender, offside. Kane. And Bellingham. Can he find the right pass? Foden. Real chance. And a goal this time. Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. But he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. And it. Coming off the pitch, number two, Kyle Walker. To be replaced by number 14, Rich Jones. James, it's gone in, and well, he might celebrate on the back of that. James, James, right.
Rice with it. Alexander Arnold. Kane. Kane! Marvellous anticipation. Could be a chance to break here. And there's the clearance, and that'll be a corner. Substitution for the host. And a substitution in the offing. Number seven, Kyle Saka. Coming onto the pitch. And he's fired over the corner. England with possession again. That is how to apply the pressure. James Madison. Teammates available. Rice. And on to Bellingham. Very quick thinking there. Well, players love to remove that little bit of doubt from the equation, and that's exactly what they're doing here. The title beckons, you've got to say, Stuart. Well, we wondered how they might cope with the pressure today, and we've certainly got our answer. They've thrived on it. They will be worthy champions. And the final whistle, scenes of jubilation, because they are now officially the champions. And Derek, they showed us today why they are the champions. They were absolutely brilliant. Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Well, his movement was brilliant today. Whether he was running in behind or dropping into pockets of space, he caused all sorts of problems. What a good hat-trick that was. And now they prepare to walk together in anticipation of the trophy presentation. Well, it's now just beginning to sink in. They are the winners of this great cup. Any second now, they'll be able to hold it aloft. All congratulating each other, and rightly so. The sweet taste of success. And they don't want to let go of that trophy, do they? Absolutely not. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been brilliant throughout the tournament. Been a top-class performance from them and their fans. Full marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. And really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.